Hello everyone, and uh, I wanted to cover for a few minutes about uh, some of the questions I'm asked uh, quite a few times. Um, we have people coming to us from all walks of life, from being very super young, 17, 18 year olds, to being in an older age. Maybe I had one student, she was 89 years old. And uh, they asked me, well, am I too young to start? Or at my age, with all the technology and things that are out there that I don't know how to learn, uh, is that going to hinder me to be successful in real estate investing? The great things about real estate investing is that it is a business for all ages. I started when I was 23 years old and I barely spoke English. I had uh, students at 17, my old youngest daughter, uh, my own youngest daughter, she, Hannah, she was 17 when she started. And so this is a business that you can do definitely at any age, okay? Um, I have people that are in older um, range that uh, are looking to supplement their Social Security income. Uh, if a couple of years ago, I had this woman, she came to me, she was 89 years old, and uh, she said, I outlive my savings, I don't want to live on Social Security, I can't live on Social Security, and therefore, I used to be in real estate 40 plus years ago. I want to go back into it as an investor. And she said, you know, I don't have to do deals, you know, aggressively, but if I can do a deal every month or two, that will be enough for me to live on. And she's doing that. And uh, she's 92 now, 93. Anyway, um, so in my own mentor, one of the women that inspired me to get into real estate investing, um, she is uh, 92 years old right now. So that, and she is still active in real estate as well. So with that said, it doesn't really matter where you walk, where you're coming from, your walk of life, where you are, um, as far as real estate, what age you're in, you know, like, you know, it's really about, as long as you're legal to sign a contract, which you are at 18, and you can go out there and do so. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of uh, clear that type of argument that I hear a lot of time. It's more about your drive, it's determination. When I was 23 years old and I came to this country and I wanted to get into real estate investing because I saw the opportunity and the possibility, I had no preconception, nothing stopped me. Just because I was 23, I didn't think, oh, I'm too young, I, I barely speak English. I was out there and I wanted to make this work, I wanted to make this happen, and that's what I did. And so it's more about your drive, your determination, not finding excuses. Sometimes we say things or we think things because we're just afraid of going out there and do something about it. And instead, go out there and do it, make it work. Just imagine if you are 20 years old and you watch this and you're going to do this, where you can be in just a few years, okay? For me, I started, I got into real estate because I wanted to pay for college and I didn't want to get student loans. And then all of a sudden, you know, I still went through college, I got my master, but uh, with no student loans. But then real estate was actually my way of life. You know, that's what I did for the rest of my life. So go out there and do it. And if you're older and you feel like technology is not your friend, uh, trust me, I'm the first one. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, technology is not really something that I uh, am very good at. But the thing is, there's so much you can do in this business that doesn't require technology. Actually, it's a people business for you to go out there and connect with people and talk to people and, uh, you know, just being yourself. It's going to have people work with you. Just imagine how many people that are 50, 60, 70 year olds are in situations and they feel like they cannot really communicate with a younger person about what they're trying to do, that they need the money out of their property, that they need to move on. They'll relate better to us, our generation, right? And those are the people that, like you, are not really too keen on technology. So there is a little bit for everybody. You know, just uh, like I said, there is a book that I love, it's called Attracting Perfect Customers. And it talks about building your mind, the type of person you want to deal with. And then that's the type of clients that you're going to attract. And that's why, you know, when I started in Hawaii in real estate, I was working with people that I felt I had something in common with, which were at that time, 
younger army officer because my husband was in the army as an army officer i i connected really well with the filipino community maybe because i was italian and they got a liking to me so then filipino community was somebody i work with uh, for a long time and uh, but those are people that are connected with and I would, they were my perfect client so hopefully this gives some clarification so if you have some some type of hesitation saying well you know I'm too old I'm too young or I'm not really uh, I don't know if I have the right knowledge or a technology or structure don't worry this is a business for everybody just go out there and make your dreams happen take care